Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I really he wish you were with me here this afternoon. I have been making clay. There's a mess down here. <laughs> I have been making clay. Um, <laughs> I think it was, I'm trying to think, it's Kitty Ideas is the channel I got the, um, the kind of recipe from. She showed using rice flour, PVA and some liquid hand soap. Um, I have tried for about an hour. I've made such a mess. Um, trying to get the right consistency. It either became too crumbly or it was too sticky. And then when I thought I had the right consistency, it just kept getting stuck in the moulds. And she kind of shows putting it into the mould and then peeling it straight out. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if any of you have got a video where someone gives their... Um, proper recipe I would be very grateful um, <laughs> I've just had the worst time at crafting I have to say <laughs> the craft room is complete mess um, this is what I've done and I've just decided to let them dry and be done with it um, there's a few rosy hairs attached to this one because she decided to get in on the action as I was doing it I've never been so messy and so frustrated in all my life <laughs> So, um, yeah, I thought I'd just hop on. I'm not going to put an intro into this video or anything. But I do wish you were here. We would have had some fun. And maybe I would have had some advice because I only had me. And you know that thing about, you know, I talk to myself because I like to ask questions of experts. That's not me at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've never seen so much mess. Um, the, the clay kind of went crumbly and then it went very sticky. And then I thought, right, okay, get it to a nice consistency, which um, was not particularly sticky, not dry, and it kind of worked in my hands really well. Um, I still have bits of it, look, it's just everywhere, just everywhere. Um, and it kind of worked really well, but then when I came to put it into these moulds, I'll just look for the one that I've just done first off. So when I came to put it into, I'm sorry if I'm making you a bit dizzy. When I came to put them in these moulds, they were not, I mean, that one's just peeled. I've just done that. <laughs> so maybe she does leave them a little while that is actually quite cute with a bit of a cut round there we go so maybe my clay is not as bad as I think it is that was one of the first one I did um and it actually has come out of the mold really well okay maybe it's not as much as disaster I thought it would be um but I just did it with 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 the white clay at the moment there was absolutely oh hang on let's see these are the last ones I've done. I don't think these are going to be ready, but can you just see? They're starting to be, I think, but I'm going to poke that back in because that's just not going to go horribly wrong otherwise. Oh, dear me. So that was the first one I did. And then I did these, which were really thin. <laughs> oh, man. Are we, uh, do you know what? I was sitting here, I was thinking, I really wish... I, look, that was broken. <laughs> I was thinking, I really wish I had some of my subbies here with me right now because we would be having such a giggle. Uh, how bad this has turned out. They're not coming out yet. No way. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think this is an art I need to kind of develop because I would really like to be able to work. See, that's broken as well. See, I'm not convinced. I don't know. I'm not convinced this is the right consistency because they're breaking. I don't know. That one didn't, obviously. Maybe it's just not ready to come out yet. Um, let's leave them alone. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure... Um, see, you can see on the top, can you see how mine is kind of a little crumbly once you kind of skim it with a tool and take the top off? I really would like to know, um, is it Kitty? No, I'm trying to think of the name of the channel. It's the lady that does beautiful boxes. She puts clay all over the top of boxes and makes them into beautiful jewellery holders and things like that. But you can see this is just a little bit crumbly. Um, but I couldn't, I just couldn't get a bit, look at this, look, it's just even over my to-do pad, just bits everywhere. Um, so I don't know. Oh God, look at the rosy hairs. She's a terrorist, seriously. She's a cat terrorist. Um, so I do apologise for all the hair. But yes, yeah, so if you can help me out, um, if you've got a better recipe that you use yourself, because this one was, I, I mean, I started mixing half and half. And that didn't seem to work. And then it was just like a case of mixing powder, then glue, and then powder, then glue until um, I could get some kind of consistency. And even then, you know, and then there's hand soap, which 
at one point I added more hand soap because I thought well maybe it needs like what they call slip I guess you know that kind of being able to get it to get out of a mold I have I have no idea but certainly uh, I mean these are still bendy so like I could place that around something and I'm wondering if in her video she does wait a short period of time before she peels them out but in her video it just looks like she peels them straight away so uh yeah any help would be greatly appreciated I'm so hot because I've been <laughs> I've been cleaning the desk I actually used an old uh, metal bowl which used to be for our cats and dogs biscuits so when I brought it up it's that one down there and amongst all the mess when I brought it up my cat thought oh yeah you've brought me something to eat so she was trying to eat the glue and rice flour mix not a good idea but anyway, I just thought I'd hop on and tell you about my afternoon. I was going to film it and there was just no way I was going to film the chaos that ensued <laughs> in East Kent in the UK today. <laughs> oh man, oh dear. And then to top it all, I'm so unsteady. I really need my hip replacement. Um, I don't think I've told most of you now that... Um, not only do I have multiple endocrine neoplasia, but I now have skeletal issues. So I need a new hip on my right side, which is quite complicated because of another condition. I had it pinned at 12 and then I have degenerative disc disease, but I also have something called um, spinal uh, lumbar spinal stenosis, which means the, the spinal can canal that holds my spinal cord in place is very narrowed and it usually has people over 65 <laughs> i'm only 48 so um yeah so today i slipped again and fell halfway down the stairs it's like the worst staircase in the world and my mum is just fuming at me and saying will you stop going up there and i was like nope i can't i love it up here but um it is getting to the point where i'm so unsteady that yeah i'm just and i'm bruised again uh it's a good job i am 48 because i think i would have quite a few broken bones by now uh so <laughs> so this has been oh crazy day but this is what i'm going to leave you with <laughs> my only success story so far we will see if any more arise from my crazy clay making session today um i will be back with you as soon as i can with another video and um I love you all and I really wish you could have been here for the chaos this afternoon. It was so much fun. Oh dear. And it was a nightmare at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I was like, it was so ridiculous the amount of mess I was making. But anyway, so um, yeah. <laughs> Start again on that one. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Um, like this video, please. And don't forget to subscribe. And um, yes, if you can give me any pointers, do so in the comments. Help me, please. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, until I see you next time, my darlings. Craft yourself happy. Take care.